Hey everybody, Jose Gardner here with Long Range Tactics. As you can see, I'm in my little indoor training area and I am in my pajamas doing my typical Thursday night, Friday night NRL 22 match prep process, going through the course fire and trying to make a plan. At these matches, I see a lot of people particularly struggle with the latter stage. I'm gonna go through a couple of tips on how I choose to attack these stages. So the first tip I'm actually going to start with is something that I think is the simplest thing a lot of people miss. So a lot of people do have awesome bags like my Armageddon Gear Schmedium here. And then I'll watch them come in and they may have a barricade stop or they may just use their magazine. And they kind of come out here in the middle, left and right, into no man's land and just kind of try to get a stable position. Now that is great, especially with these bags, that's awesome, but you're giving up a lot of ease. If you will simply push towards your strong hand to the farthest edge, then what you can end up doing actually, on top of when you drive in with your shoulder and create just a little bit of tension uh, between your gun and the bag, then you can also take your hand, reach over, and pretty much grab the edge of the ladder. What this does, it takes a lot of your left and right wobble out, and frankly, it can even take a lot of your up and down wobble out. You come in, you run your bolt, you get a good hard tension. I'm actually almost creating down pressure as well with my hand. Take a lot of that wobble out, boom, squeeze the trigger, and I'm out. So this next thing may be a little bit more nitpicky or obvious, but I see a lot of people ditch what started out as a good plan when they get flustered, and I'm going to explain why that's a bad idea. So a lot of people, you're obviously, most of the stages are going to be something about shooting from two or three or four of the rungs. Um, starting from the bottom and going up or reverse doesn't matter and you're gonna start gear in hand and what I'll watch is a lot of people will come up here and they'll throw this bag on then they'll get down and they'll shoot and they realize that they couldn't breathe that something went awry and they get all flustered and they turn around they ditch their bag or their bag falls or something and they start just riding the ladder now, if they do this and use the hand trick I talked about, then that's still a bad idea, but it's a better idea than nothing. But the reason that ditching your bag is a bad idea, you may think it saves you time, but the fact of the matter is, these steps are actually kind of angled upwards. Arca rails are awesome. Right there, if I was flat and pointed at my target, it would be great. But the fact of the matter is, what I typically have to do, especially the higher you go, is you end up having to tip your gun up where now there's only one slight point of contact at the very front and you end up wobbling. Trust me when I say you will fight that gun more not having your bag than the amount of time you should have taken to grab your bag, nudge it in, press it forward. Now, I especially say that for anything above the bottom rung. Now the interesting thing about the bottom rung is that what I will actually do a lot of times is I will assume a prone position and I will take my schmedium or even my udder, whatever I have, and I turn it up long ways. And then I take my fist and actually just use that almost like people who use a tripod as a rear support. And now my fist does become the, rock, the rear support. And even if I do tip up off, it's okay because I have two points of contact to the ground, two points of support. And so I will actually run the bottom one with no bag on the ladder, I'll use the bag as a rear bag. Then when I attack the next one, I will 100% every single time ensure that I am using a bag on the barricade, tighten up with my hand, drive the gun, and break a great shot. The NRL 22 is a very growing sport, uh, just precision rim fire in general. Uh, it's a great entry uh, entryway into precision shooting. I um, mean, you see a lot of new shooters uh, that come in and just kind of take a crack at it, and I love that. That's the whole purpose. Um, that being said, we want to be able to help uh, people like that. If you're one of those people, I would like to help you grow. Um, I hope this tip helped for this. I hope to carry out a few more of these over some of the common barricades. Um, if you like this video, make sure you follow us on YouTube, on Instagram, and Facebook, and keep up with all the content we'll put out. Uh, with that, I thank you for your time.